So moving into problems in urban trucking. So one of the um, big problems that trucking companies face, like a lot of us do when we drive to and from work or uni and the like, is obviously congestion. So congestion naturally makes logistics more inefficient. There's loss of time and wage costs, not only for the truck driver, but you know the people who are waiting for the goods at the other end. The stop and start conditions cost more in fuel and maintenance, so truck drivers um, really, really dislike it. And lastly, it's a major contributor to what we call the economic cost of congestion because obviously the longer the time the uh, trucking goods is actually spending on the road, that's actually what we regard as an economic cost. So how can we get um, trucks moving a bit quicker? Well, other than, of course, um, you know, widening freeways or building more freeways or arterial roads, we, you know, maybe there's scope for a pro priority for trucks. So that uh, illustration on the right of the screen gives you, shows you there where there's some uh, truck um, pro priority but um, but I guess um, yeah ultimately anything that speeds up the road traffic benefits trucks so of course yes yes we do put more lanes on you know trucks um, do have the be uh, benefit of course if we can actually move more private vehicle demand on the public transport we take um, more cars off the road which of course creates more road space for trucks but unfortunately trucks also slow other vehicles um, down because trucks you know naturally slower to accelerate or decelerate decelerate and this is um, obviously an issue at intersections but also when we do um, you know have delays on uh, freeways and, and key arterial roads is that yeah trucks do take a long time to accelerate from a standing start and um, unfortunately I guess this example here in the um, illustration is a good one is that the the loading of the truck can impede not just the traffic but uh, the sight uh, line of sight for other motorists unfortunately poor road design can uh, cause problems for trucks and we um, do inevitably um, see that and whilst I won't go through them in great detail um, just some examples include of course narrow narrow lanes poor road um, geometry and we've seen an example here in the illustration with sharp bends or of course obstructions and hazards as a whole all make life difficult for the um, for truck drivers